B has magnitude 5 newtons and lies 60 degrees above its projection in the xy plane, which is in itself 40 degrees as measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Change this into magnitude along a line. The magnitude will not change. This is still 5 newtons. What we need to do is find two points along with this same line. So, we have, if we look at this in three dimensions, where this is the x, the y, and the z axis, b has a projection in the plane 40 degrees as measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis, and it lies above this projection by some 60 degrees. So B lies along this line right here. The easiest point to pick along that line would be the origin. So that is A point. We need to find what the Cartesian point somewhere along the line connecting the origin and the tip of B. Look first in the plane. We can say if this is the x axis and the y axis, this is 40. Let's call the projection T. If you let T be, oh, say, 1, pick a magnitude. I'm just looking for a point along that line. You can pick any magnitude you'd like. If I pick 1, then the x coordinate of this tip of B is going to be 1 times cosine 40. This is going to be the x component of our point. It's not the x component of the vector. It's going to be the x component of our point b. The y component will be the sine of the angle. Now we need to find the z component. Let's make this t. This was our picked magnitude of 1. This is the last distance we need to find where this is a 60 degree angle and this is bz. This is the Cartesian point that we're looking for, which in this case is tan 60. So, for the magnitude of 1 that I picked arbitrarily for my projection in the plane, the point up here connected to it is going to be cosine 40, sine 40, tan 60. If you pick a different magnitude, you've multiplied it by whatever magnitude you want to have. So the points that you would need would be the origin, and this point, cosine 40, sine 40, tan 60. Please be careful. This is not the vector b. The vector b has magnitude 5 newtons and lies along the line from 0, 0, 0 to cosine 40, sine 40, and 60. If you check that, the position vector from this point to this point, RAB, has magnitude 2 which is not B. So make sure you know what you're talking about.